I'm Barbara Frockia, and I have just completed a series of opera comedy or opera comique. Last year I did opera tragedy, and I just like to uh, refresh people's minds as to the difference between comedy and tragedy. I mean, what could be more tragic than the guillotine with Andrea Chenier and dialogue of the Carmelites? During Wagner. That's pretty tragic. Not too many laughs in that one. Here we have Don Giovanni and his passion for women, all kinds. I'd like to present uh, poor Rigoletto in his deformed body with his beautiful daughter that fell in love with a prince and gave her life to the prince and Rigoletto's heartbreak. Here I have, I believe I, well, I mentioned this, Andrea Chenier during the French Revolution and the citizens and the beheading of many innocent people who worked for society. And then way up there we have Carmen Sita, who got around with everybody and loved to play cards until she kept dealing her hand of death, ace of spades. And then we have Aida with the Radames and Aida dying in the crypt and then going off into the sunset through the pyramids. Now, we also have something new. I am sure everyone has heard Peter and the Wolf. It is a very popular symphonic work that is performed during Christmas and um, it's by Prokofiev and he's a uh, Ukrainian. Um, it's about a, a grandfather and his son who live out in the woods and they have a pet bird and a pet pussycat. There's a little stream and there's a favorite duck. In the back are the hunters, because at the end of the concert, or the symphonic work, they capture the wolf. Here is the wolf. Da, 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 bum, 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 da. Anyway, that's sort of like the music that goes with it. This is the wolf. And with a little blood on his teeth and his claws. And he is conducting Peter because it's a symphonic work. No one sings. They just play those instruments. Thank you.